Hey guys, welcome to episode number 111. Today is the last day in my DIY marathon, and I wanted to introduce you to a DIY jet lift air tube. It's kind of like an airlift tube, uh, but it supposedly has a little bit more power. Uh, I'll let you be the judge, but here's how it works. We've got an airline hose here. It's going to connect to your air pump as normal. That's going to come all the way down here to the very bottom of this uh, jet lift tube. And this fitting right here is uh, a, an airline T valve. And one end has the... Uh, the, the, the flexible tubing attached to it. Uh, the far end is actually cut off and I filled, I filled in the hole with a little bit of PVC cement. And then the, the other end to the T, uh, it has been inserted into this uh, PVC fitting. And again, I used the, uh, the PVC uh, glue to, or cement to uh, cement that in place. So that's not going anywhere. Uh, the air can't escape the bottom, so it has to enter through this side. And here's what I have for pieces of PVC. Uh, this is just your a simple slip by slip uh, connector for your, your PVC. This is just a straight piece of tube. And then this is a, a long elbow. And what I've done at the top is I just cut it at an angle to give a nice uh, spout there at the top. So it kind of goes 90 degrees once it gets to the top. So how this works is the air enters through this fitting and then it enters this chamber. And you may notice that there's some air space here in between these two pieces of pipe. Normally, these two pieces of pipe would be connected right together. There wouldn't be any air space here. But what I did was I sanded down the inside of this fitting and I sanded down the outside of this PVC pipe in order to create that space. And if you'll see inside there, I have drilled a bunch of holes. And so what's happened is when I glued this fitting onto this pipe, I only applied glue to this top part of the fitting and once that was inserted and uh, w when it dried basically what I've created here is a pocket of air so that when this airline uh, turns on the air enters that empty space that hollow space within this tube and uh, it builds up a little bit and then what happens is tiny bubbles escape through all of those small holes that I've drilled uh, in a circular fashion all the way around this inner tube. So why is that important? Well, uh, what, it, what it allows is this tube to be completely unobstructed. Uh, it means that the airlift is happening uh, across this entire uh, diameter of, of this uh, tube and there's no air stone stuck in the middle of it to restrict your flow. Uh, that means larger debris probably won't plug it up, uh, which might be a good thing, but it also means that uh, your water might be traveling faster because it has more bubbles rising uh, in, a, in a larger area to, uh, to take advantage of that now open tube. And then it just kind of jets it out here at a nice angle so that if you place this in a tank, something like this, what you're going to see is the airlift is going to lift the uh, the water uh, above the water level of your level of your tank and you can place something like this behind uh, a Hamburg mat filter in order to uh, filter your water so the the mat filter is doing all of the filtration and this jet tube is moving all of your water so if the 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 mat filter is right here and this is the back glass to your tank, the water would travel through that filter, that filter pad, and then it would enter through the bottom of this jet, and then it would exit over the top back into your aquarium. So that's the concept. Let's go put it in the tank and see how it works. All right, here we are. Sorry I don't have a tank or a mat filter to properly demonstrate how this would function in an actual setup. But what I have done here is suspended this jet lift tube inside my 55 gallon tank. 
Uh, I don't know if we can see the particles in the water there, but they're getting sucked up into that chamber. And uh, that would be the same as any water behind the mat filter. And then it travels up the tube, and we've got a nice curve here in this PVC pipe and it allows the water to very evenly exit the top of this jet lift tube uh, which is fairly important because if you have any sharp bends like a traditional 90 degree elbow it's going to slow the water down and uh, therefore you won't have as good of a flow rate coming out of it so I'm pretty happy with this uh, I'm just going to mess with the uh, the water height here to show exactly how high out of the water this can go. Sorry for the, the lack of light here, but that's a good three inches or so and it's still pumping water. Uh, obviously the, uh, the closer it is to the actual water level in the tank, the faster the uh, airlift is going to perform. So I would recommend this sitting about a half inch above the water level in your aquarium behind your mat filter and uh, it looks like it works fairly well so I might revisit this at a later point to see if I can improve on this design at all but for right now there are only a few parts involved in this construction and it seems to work really well so I think that's this is the best flow rate I've seen out of a a pipe this this diameter so pretty happy about that anyways guys this is the last video in my DIY marathon so I'll be back to my regular schedule of making videos here soon and I'm going to announce my contest winners here fairly fairly soon as well so I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you later